you want me? Do you want me? Testing, camera shot. How good do I look? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. Okay. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, this week's video, I'm going to be harping on a little bit more. Hmm. I'm going to have it down and done more. You, you can do so... You... You do... You can... I am not very well. I have the man flu. I have a cold, so I feel like this is helping. And I do have a cold. I feel like Nigel Thornbury. I think I got it from when I went out with Danielle's diary. We went out to see Heli Kyoko. I don't remember a thing from the entire evening. First of all, by the way, I just got changed in front of the window. And I don't know why, but I really like the idea of someone watching me get changed. Don't make daddy jokes, it's not funny. I literally just changed my bra in front of the window. And I was thinking, imagine if someone was watching me do this, how fit might I look? And then I got my bra like caught and twisted. Boobs were flying everywhere. Then I realised I actually am not that sexy. I can't even say that word without going a little bit red. I was out with my mate Christina the other day and we were driving in a car and I saw like someone running so I undid my window and I was like shout something at them shout something because I find that stuff really funny grow up page I know it's quite mean but at the same time people do it to me so I've been at the bus stops before when I was a little bit younger I was just standing at the bus stop on my own innocent child and someone actually leant out their window and shouted virgin I don't know if I was a virgin I was definitely in my teens but I was horrified because I was on my own and then like a group of lads in the car mugged me off shouted virgin at me so ever since then I'm like you know what? I'm gonna do it back to people and then we got on the topic of what men say to women so like you know when men shout at women like get your tits out that sort of stuff not that I've ever joined in in that chant yeah, so we were talking about what men say and we came up with like a list of things that men had said to us in our lives Someone that I used to work with actually said about me. Yeah, I'd have a go on page Have a go on me like I'm some sort of ride at a theme park like I'm the big dipper like I'm storm force 10 Have a go on me. I'm not joking If you own a white van, I could bet my life on you either beeping at a woman or shouting something at her Whilst we're on this conversation, I can't really say much because I've been I've been to a few strip clubs. Not to go stare at women, just because like the atmosphere is sometimes quite cool and they're getting paid decent money, they're all beautiful, but I'm not sitting there like staring at them like a complete creep. I'm just kind of like having my drink, speaking to the person I'm speaking to. It's just fun to go to sometimes. The first time I ever went to uh, went to one, I broke it with my girlfriend and my one of my best friends, Dan, who's gay, by the way. So if you're single and you're a man and gay obviously so he took me to a strip club and he was like i'll pay for you to have a lap dance and i was like no no like no i'll just get so awkward because i'm i'm not the most like how shall i put this i'm not the most smoothest person in the world <laughs> okay i've got a few people that could back that up he paid 24 pound for me to have a lap dance and he also paid for himself by the way i'm not gonna lie i was a bit hesitant i was like oh my god where do i put my hands where do i look do i speak do i um offer her a beverage like i didn't know what to do anyway you give her this token she starts like grinding up on you and you're just like <laughs> i'm a virgin and i was like oh my god this is actually really fun but obviously i'd never been to one before i don't know what they do this woman she was like grinding on me on my lap doing everything she needed to do I almost slipped off my seat, I'm not gonna lie to you. This went on for like two or three minutes. I came out and Dan looked at me like, we were in the same room by the way. I could see Dan having a lap dance off this woman. After it finished, Dan came up to me and was like, did you like it? I was like, I loved it, like that was really fun. Anyway, there's me thinking, we'll probably have a drink after this, get to know each other, ask each other what our star signs are. I walk out and she's already on the next man. And I'm not gonna lie, I was like, Oh. It actually occurred to me that's her job to pretend that they like you and they get paid a hell of a lot of money to do that. That's the tea. I felt like a nonce. So yeah, I don't know where this video is going. It was going to talk about what men say um, and then I just ended up telling that story about the strip club. I think I've had enough for myself now. Have I? Yeah, I have. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye. I'm cringing at the fact that I've literally just drank brandy throughout this whole video.